This video is sponsored by SneakerImpact.com. Take a second, look in your closet, see how many shoes you got. If you don't feel like trying to list those shoes and resell those shoes and you simply want to get them out of your closet, visit SneakerImpact.com, hit the contact button or the recycle button, and you can begin your recycling journey. They will send you a free packing slip, and all you have to do, fill the bag, drop it off, and that's it. SneakerImpact.com. Check them out. Hey, what up, y'all? Back with another video. I am going to run through these quickly. I'm trying to see what that is hanging off the side of the shoe. Oh, it's just a piece of suede. Um, $95 blazers for kids. $95 blazers for kids. Easily one of the coolest looking blazers on the market. Um, rest in peace, Virgil. I have to say that uh, Virgil... Let me think real quick. There's a sneaker, there's a, a skate company. They made a dunk called the Saturday. And I can't remember the name of that skate company, but they kind of introduced these double swooshes a while back. But the misplaced checks and things like that, I know John Geiger gets a lot of credit for it also, but Virgil really kind of nailed it when he did the 10. And in the 10 was the uh, Nike Blazer. And here is one of those situations where we have this Nike Blazer. It's a kid's blazer. So you're not going to get this. This joint is embroidered. It has these really cool labels. I have to get to the close up, so I'm going to shut up and I'm going to go to everything that you need to know about the shoe to make sure your shoe is good to go. And um, let's start with that. This is the Blazer Mid 77 SE. D G S. Have no idea what the D is. I'm gonna have to death. Oh, dance, dance. Why is it called the dance? I have no idea. Uh, there's nothing on the insole that tells me why it's called the dance. The big dance. I'm tripping. All right, the big dance. March. This is March. By the time I edit this video, it will probably be April. I'm just really way behind on doing a lot of different stuff, but. Dance. This has got to be the big dance. Blazer Mid. All right, so I repeated that over and over again because I figured that out just now while I was talking. But it has an array of materials, and this does not feel like leather. I'm positive this is some synthetic material. When I move the shoe up closer, you'll see it. But the shoe is made out of suede here on the toe box and here on the side, which is always the way the blazer is made. But the medial is suede as well. The swoosh is leather. Um, pretty sure this is a leather of some type, a synthetic leather, but this heel embroidered, um, embroidered like small swooshes here on the side, and then you have a silhouette of a swoosh that moves into the eyelets going here. It's an interesting shoe, but where it really shines is on the tongue with this kind of Sakai double branded of Nike, the old school Nike in cursive, and then it has blazer mid and the blazers in cursive, and then it says just do it on the pull tab for the tongue, which is needed on the blazer, and it's attached really well, so that's a good thing because whenever I wear my blazers, I have to pull them on. They don't feel great. Like I've always said, I prefer the Converse Pro Leather to the blazer, but these joints look good. These look good. So I guess if this is dance, maybe I'm wrong. Somebody leave a comment to tell me if I'm wrong. But the color here is Summit White and Black. Summit White and not red. Not gem red, black, gray. Eh, go figure. Style code DH8640100. Uh, like I said, the SRP is $95. I'm going to pop this box open. There's no QC stamp on the inside of the lid. I won't lift the paper out real quick. I will go inside and give you the dates of production. There's no additional set of shoestrings. The small code is QM, and that is made in Indonesia. Dates of production, 0804-21 to 09-20-21. Let's get to the close-up, because like I said, some really cool cues on this shoe and when you see it, I'm thinking more than likely this shoe will do fairly well. 
as a kid shoe. Oh, you know what? I didn't even recognize that the suede is attached here. Traditionally on the blazer, the suede is not. You have a suede going across the toe, and then you have this panel that's over here. It's like a mud guard. You have suede here, but it's cut off. This one is attached all the way around. It's a different look. Let's get to the close-up. All right, so that blazer mid, 77 SED, this GS size, I have not seen it in men's, but that swoosh looks fat right there. And then on the medial side, you have the outline of the swoosh, and it disappears into where the eyelets are. But those two embroidered small swoosh, embroidered Nike at the heel, Oh, the toe box. What I wanted you guys to see was how this piece is connected here. And maybe this was a design element that Nike originally did on the shoe. Maybe for March Madness in the NCAA tournament back in the day or something. I don't know. But, oh, I want you to see the front. Because the tongue has that... Double, double Nike logo here, and then it has Just Do It going up the tongue from the middle of the tongue where you have your shoestrings going through. It says Just Do It all the way up. Right? I don't know about you, man. That's a nice pair of kids GS blazers. I wonder if I've been saying dunk this whole time. I don't think so. Show you that medial again. This is a cool looking shoe too, man. Nike does a great job with all of their retro stuff. This is a great update on this shoe. And I think that's it. Let's wrap it up. See you guys on the next one. Peace.